because I went, uh, before I came here, I went to uh, visit him for a couple days. And I went and opened the bank account in Mesa, Arizona, and made him the uh, attorney. That, for that account. But when this, when one of my social security comes in, they send the card to send it to his address because yes. I call it his address. And so I think he can activate the card and then he can just draw it out and put it into the other the only problem, The only problem I see there is if anything happens to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and something, something could happen where he's just not able to act for you. Yeah. And if you're here and you can't get to your money, that would be a problem. Yeah. Well, I brought checks with me too. Yeah. So do you have a bank account here in the I have a bank account here that my UK bank, that my UK pension goes to the Philippine bank. But that was because it was very easy to deal with the UK. Oh. With the US, I don't, I don't take me as, as gospel, but I think that they are not so eager to deal with sending your, your social security to them. So that's why you should go to a bank there in the US. The best thing to do is to tell them what the real situation is. I did. I told them I was coming to the Philippines and I right. might stay in the well, that's how I can use that ATM card here. Yeah, otherwise, the alarm bell would go off and it would stop. Yeah. 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 So, so the, best, the best thing to do, I think, I, it has worked for me, yeah. is to go to your bank and give them all the correct addresses. It sounds like you're settled in the house anyway. Yeah. So, send it there. Because, well, there's another thing, isn't there? Eventually, they're going to start sending you what's called in the UK. They call it a life certificate. Yeah, I saw that video. Yeah, and, and that's, that's really critical. Yeah, because if you don't return that letter in the envelope that they send you, yeah, so they're very precise. They'll stop your pension. Yeah, and then it's not it's not that they're going to take the money, but. They want to make sure that you're alive, <laughs> which is fair. And the best way to get you to get in touch is to stop your pension. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then you'll get in touch. Yeah, that's right. But it will take, it may take three or four months to get the pension reinstated. Uh, which if it's your only source of income, is what I'm trying to say. It's so real it's difficult for it happens. Yeah. Yeah. See, so that's another reason why you should have a reserve, yes. so that you're not totally okay. dependent. Uh, I had a decent reserve when I got here, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But you have a bank account here. Not yet. We were just talking about that yesterday. I would go in and get a joint account. Yeah. And you can have that. So I yeah, can just take my checks and deposit them in my bank, so I can still keep that one. Um, and there's no problem. That's what, well, that's what I do. Yeah. For my UK pension, which is yeah. very small anyway, yeah. uh, that goes to the, to the bank here, yeah. all right, which, is, which is set up yeah. so that we're on both sides. Yeah. And my other. Social security from the US goes to my US bank account, right. which is in Florida. And how do you get that? Right. ATM. Uh, we do online, online banking, and we have the ATM. But they did, we did have a mess up with the ATM card. The magnetic strip started coming off, and it wouldn't accept it, so we needed a new card. It took many, many weeks yeah. to get that card. Because they were sent, this is why I say it's critical about the address, because they were sending it to an old address. And, and trying, trying to get them to talk sense to you on the phone yeah. is After is you have to hold on for about an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the way that it works, because you have to buy a load, yeah. 
you buy it low, and then just as they're about to say, okay, hold on for a moment and we'll get this settled, you're off. And then you gotta call them back. Talk to a different person. And actually, when we went through, we went through to the bank, and the woman that was dealing with us said, I said, look, you don't understand, this, this is an emergency. I'm thousands of miles from home, and I don't have money. I need that account, I need that ATM, and I need it now. You need to spread it out to me. And she said, well, don't you have friends that you can borrow money? Yeah, right. <laughs> To borrow money, I've got my own. <laughs> so, yeah. not always. Yeah. It's not always a, a CTM card now that hasn't been activated. Yeah. When is that expiring? Well, my my existing, the one I'm using. The same. So, but if we did lose this. This is not fair. Well, maybe you would say it is, but yes.